Hey guys, I never thought when I started this YouTube channel that I'd be doing skincare reviews, let alone two in a row, so that's interesting. <laughs> anyway, I'm back with a, another skincare review for you guys. Um, YesStyle sent me some products as part of their YesStyle Summer Glow campaign. Um, we have a few little skincare bits that I think you might like. I'll leave all of the links to the products in my description bar as well as my influencer discount code which you can use to get a discount on all of your orders. First up, I have this powder face wash and can I just say, just right off the bat, I love the packaging of this and if you've been watching my videos for a while now you will know that I'm a huge sucker for packaging and the way that things look and all that stuff and I, I love this, this, this shade of green it's just honestly so perfect. I'm really into like the simplicity of how things look now. Now I'm like out of the kawaii community and I was kind of like extreme with that. Um, I've really come to appreciate honestly like the simplicity of stuff and this to me I just think is so attractive so love this. So this is a green tea and enzyme powder wash. It also acts as a physical exfoliator. So the thing that makes this product really unique is that this is actually a powder. I don't know if you can hear the powder rattling around in there. Um, but yeah, it's a powder and how you use it is you pour a small amount into the palm of your hand and then have uh, water in the other hand and you rub the two together and it will turn into kind of like a foamy kind of cleanser, I guess. I think the powder element of this wash is very fun and quirky. I mean, I love the idea of this. I've never seen a product that was kind of built this way. I mean, I'm sure there are other ones on the market, but me personally, I've never used one of these. So I was really, really interested and excited to try it. And yeah, I mean, the first few times I used it, I loved it. I thought it was so cool. Um, I will say though, um, after a few days, the novelty of it kind of wears off. It's very difficult to understand the right ratio of powder to water to use. Um, I found that you actually need a lot more powder than what you initially think. Um, so keep that in mind. I'm not sure how long this cleanser will actually last you in that case. But yeah, I mean, it works like any other face wash, I guess. I mean, it's very gentle on your skin, um, makes my skin feel smooth and soft afterwards, makes it feel fresh, and all that jazz. I mean, I think it's really cool um, to have, I guess, it's something different to try. Next up, I have this mugwort heating pack. And again, let's just talk about the packaging. So cute, I love this green, love the simplicity. It's very, very nice, I like it a lot. And yeah, I mean like in general, I love self-heating products. I don't know why, but like no matter how many times I use them, I am just always so amazed on how they work. How do they work? So this one in particular, um, this one heats up quite instantly on your face which I was very impressed with. And I noticed that not only does this have quite an instant self-heating element to it, it does stay warm for quite long compared to other self-heating products that I've used before. After a few minutes, like you can gradually feel it kind of wearing off, but I left this on for an entire episode of The Office the other night and it was still as warm as it was when I put it on when I went to take it off. The only downside for me is um, washing this off. Now, I like face masks, um, but I never really use them just because I find it such a hassle to like wash like the paste and stuff off your face afterwards. I just find it too difficult, too messy. That's why I always use sheet masks or peeling masks or whatever. And um, I found this one a little bit difficult to wash off. Um, initially, I tried washing it off with um, my facial cleanser, with some water, some soap, whatever, to try and get it off. But it kind of just sort of jellyfies and doesn't really come off your skin very well. So I ended up having to use my face towel and just like kind of wipe off all the excess, which, you know, for some people might not be a problem. But for me personally, it's just not something that I enjoyed. Something else as well, um, if you haven't had mugwort in any of your products before, it is a little bit of a strange smell um, if you're not used to it, so just also FYI. Next up we have these pear soothing pads, and guys, I love these. So these are soothing pads, they're really great for your skin, there are a couple of ways that you can use them. Um, you can either just take one and wipe it across your face and let the essence soak in, or you can leave the pad on your face in specific areas if you want to target places on your face specifically for a more intense treatment. Can I just say, I mean, 
this might be quite petty of me, but the little tongs, I love the mini tongs, all right? I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna come out and say it. I saw um, a couple of other skincare videos who received the same PR as me and everybody loved the mini tongs. Um, it's just, it's so cute and so convenient. I really appreciate it when skincare comes with things like this. Um, also when you have like a paste kind of mask and it comes with its own spatula. Really appreciate things like that. Um, Cause you know, it's not very hygienic to always put your hands in products and use it just in case your hands aren't clean or whatever. And um, so yeah, that's just a little added bonus that made me love the product even more. But going back to the product itself, the smell has that really kind of fresh and natural scent to it. And it's really soaked in the product, like even the ones at the very top. I'm not sure how many you get in one tub, but they do kind of seem to be endless to be honest. Um, I've been using these every day for two weeks now and it doesn't seem like I've even made a dent in it yet. I will certainly consider buying these myself and using them on the long run. Definitely recommend them to people as well. I mean, they're just cool and you get mini tongs and they smell nice and it feels great on the skin. You get so many. Following that, we have this AHA7 Whitehead Power Liquid. So this has a 7% glycolic acid in it. So it's kind of like a form of a chemical exfoliator. I mean, yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed using this product. Um, it says to put it on a cotton pad and wipe across your face, but I personally prefer to pump the product into my clean hands and use my hands to kind of distribute it across my face. You know, I just feel like some products soak into cotton pads too easily and you're not really getting your money's worth for it or like it's just kind of a waste of product a little bit in my opinion. Anyway, I loved the dewy look that this gave my complexion. Um, I actually decided to wear like no makeup at all when I used this product over the past two weeks. Yeah, it kind of like boosted my confidence a little bit, made my skin look really glowy and all that jazz. So that was great. But yeah, I mean, I don't really have a problem with whiteheads in general. So I didn't really see much of an improvement to my skin in terms of what it's used for. But yeah, give it a go. It might work better for you. Um, I'll leave the link in the description. Now, think about this. Would this be a true summer glow up if you weren't taking care of your feet? I don't know, because like wearing sandals and flip flops and being in the pool and the beach. I don't know, let's just move on. Anyway, amongst these products was this dirty foot peeling socks pack. Um, I've seen these before. Um, I've, I've never tried them personally. I did see a TikTok video of a girl using, um, I'm not sure if it was this one in particular, but one similar to it. Basically, um, it's like a sock that you put on your foot that has kind of like uh, chemicals and essence and all that jazz in it. Um, you put it on, you leave it on for, how long does it say, about an hour pretty much, and you take it off, and what it does is gradually over the next like week or so, it will make the top layer of your feet peel. Now, I know that might not be to everybody's taste. <laughs> I mean, I personally hate feet. I just, I can't, I don't, mm. I don't really suffer with dry feet. Okay, why do I feel so uncomfortable talking about this? Anyway, I haven't personally used this yet because I am due to self tan in the next few days and then I don't want to use this and then my skin peel and then self tan comes off. It just seems very counterproductive. But I mean, yeah, this has a very delightful peach scent to it. So if you like peach things like me, um, then definitely give this a go. I mean, it's something different to add to like your skincare routine or even if you just wanna have a pamper day, it's just something different. Like I actually have a hand sheet mask in my vanity in my bathroom as well, which I haven't got around to doing yet, but I saw it and I thought, you know what? I mean, I don't really take care of my hands and it's kind of the same thing as feet, right? So um, yeah, I mean, if you just wanted to try something different, something fun, even if you want to try it for a laugh, then give it a go. You never know, you might fall in love with having luscious, wonderful feet. I don't really know how to um, sell this one to you. <laughs> so there we go. They are all the products that YesStyle sent me as part of their Summer Glow campaign. So thank you very much, YesStyle, for working with me again. I really appreciate it. As I said at the beginning of this video, all of the links to these products can be found in the description bar and don't forget you can also use my influencer code which I'll put on screen and also in the description bar for you guys. Remember to use it, you can get discount on literally any product at YesStyle, so don't forget. Let me know if you're interested in any of these products or if you've tried them before and let me know what you think about them in the comments. I really love hearing about what you guys think. 
you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe and also click the like button if you enjoyed the video so I can make more of it like it for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.